Hey y'all, I'm Lockleth and I am going to get back into my Stardew Valley Let's Play series that I have been working on. I am feeling a little bit of sinus pressure today and so for my Thursday video this week I decided to just kind of take it easy and play Stardew. I will attempt this weekend to finish out Portal and that will be next week's video so be on the lookout for that but let's just play some chill Stardew Valley. So like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you are enjoying this series and let me know any other games you would like to see as well and let me know your tips on Stardew Valley because reminder I am still very new to the game but let's get right into it. Rain tomorrow, neutral spirits today and living off the land is it gonna be the woes from crows sounds like you need a scarecrow we've already done that look at us need a bigger backpack that's a reminder by the way we have enough gold to buy the backpack today so hopefully i can do that and we have mail and things to i guess get what are these blue jazz things the flower grows in a sphere to invite as many butterflies as possible oh so they bring in butterflies, but they also give energy. But kind of where I left off last time, in case you missed out on that video, and I'll just include a playlist. I think since this series is gonna be ongoing for a while, I'm gonna make the Stardew Valley its own playlist. That way you know where exactly where to go to see all of those versus my sporadic variety playlist that this has been in in the past. Some things that I learned and some reminders for myself. One being the training rod. We did purchase that and that has helped a lot. Reminder to myself is to check the bulletin board every day for birthdays, but I do feel like in this playthrough there might be some sort of event going on, so we need to make sure I check that. Oh, Robin lost their favorite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. There, There's 250 gold in it for whoever finds the thing, says Robin. Okay, I have no idea where I need to go to get that, but let's go into town, check the bulletin board, and then what am I supposed to do today? I already forgot. Don't I have like a fish or something I'm supposed to give to Elliot? <gasps> the anchovy. Oh my god. All right, now we're on our way. Man, like I said in the beginning, I'm doing this video because I'm just having a little bit of a sinus issues today. The last time she remembers using it, she was cutting wood south of Marnie's ranch. Okay, so we might need to go do that. This is the last day to give Elliot the anchovy. Let's go do that really quickly because I really don't want to miss him. And I'm sorry if I sound a little bit more breathy in this video. I am uh, struggling, like I said, sinus issues, so the breathing is a... Uh, is not 100% today. Does he like sleep in late? Ugh, I have no idea. I've only ever seen him like by chance around. No one's birthday today or tomorrow, but we have the egg festival on Saturday and Haley's birthday on Sunday, which, okay, let me just say, as, as a first impressions type of thing, please don't be upset with me, because these are going off of first impressions. I think Haley and Penny and Abigail were the three that just a little rude and kind of just like standoffish. Oh, and Shane, of course, but they weren't my faves when I met them. Uh, let's go to the community center and donate some of this stuff. Oh man, I can already tell that this playthrough day is going to be a little bit of a struggle for me because my brain is just not functioning. This is where one of these go. What were the days of the traveling merchant? Why am I struggling? See, my brain is in a fog today. Yes! Oh, our inventory space has increased. And let's buy some parsnips. Have I bought cauliflower? I don't remember. We're gonna buy five cauliflower. Let's buy some kale. Oh, I guess that's everything we can buy. Well, good for us. We are now poor again. Hello, Vincent. Not as boring, thank you. I think Jody was the one that was just kind of eh. Wasn't the best first impression. Yeah, cause Penny was super sweet now that I'm thinking about it. So it might've been Jody. I like Vincent, her little, her little son. Yeah, the mom, Jody. She did not leave a very good impression on me. And Haley too, Abigail was up in the air, and Shane was probably on the bottom of my list of people I would talk to. I still don't see Elliot. I have no idea what his hours are. Is there a way to like see that? 
Gives me no info on him. His birthday's in the fall and he's single. Okay, well, Pam is at the bottom, I assume, because I gave her something that she did not like. I didn't know she wouldn't like a Joja Cola. <laughs> And I've actually given Lewis sap before in one of the videos. I think I cut it out in the editing because it was, the video was already too long. But I accidentally gifted him sap and yeah, I feel bad about that too. Plus I missed his birthday. I guess it's 1.40. Surely he's going to be around soon, right? Like I would hate to go back home and do some farming if he's going to be out and about. Oh, I am very sorry, Emily. I guess a spring onion wouldn't be something that somebody would like, so whoops. Okay, I have wandered around for quite some time and have not seen Elliot. Does he leave his house? Where does he go? Doesn't he like the beach? Each? <laughs> Where else does he go? I want to be able to do these quests in a timely manner. Elliot, where the heck are you, man? 300 pieces of wood. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's something we should work towards is uh, either that or the community center. Where the heck are you, Elliot? You wanted this stupid anchovy. <laughs> Where are you? Hello? He's not in here. Is this Pam? I'm so sorry, Pam. You enjoy your beer, ma'am. Maybe that's how I'll make up to you, but I don't have any money right now. <gasps> there he is. Oh my god, here's your stupid fish. No, do not eat it. Do not eat it. Do not eat it. Thank you. Ugh, finally. Alright, with the... We have a lot of energy, but it's late. So I think I'm gonna plant all of these parsnips and potentially the cauliflower and then the two kale that we were able to get. Let me sell some of this stuff. This is not a very cute farm, but it does what it needs to. I'm already loving having bigger pockets. It is getting dark, but I still have quite a bit of energy, so maybe I'll cut down some trees and get some wood. So let's let's just build a chest. Let's code uh, this one green, because it's going to have all of our plant life in it. And I'm going to color code this one blue because when I think of tools, I think blue. <laughs> so let me take all my tools out of here. We're just doing some reorg today. Can you get rid of these large bushes? Is that possible? I guess not. Put our stuff away. All right, and I think it's supposed to rain today, so hopefully that helps. Clear and sunny tomorrow because it's the egg festival. The event will take place in Pelican Town starting between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Don't be late. And then extra luck today. Dear Lockleth, tomorrow we're holding the egg festival. Arrive between 9 and 2. Okay. Okay, south of Marnie's Ranch, so probably where we've gotten the spring onions before, but let's head towards Marnie's Ranch, and then we'll go from there. I'm hoping to get through five days again today, but if if my body can't handle it, like it's a, a little struggle talking and, well, breathing. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible. So I have asthma, and so it, it doesn't take a whole lot for my breathing to be affected, whether that be anxious about something, stressed about something, I will have troubles breathing, and then, you know, sinus issues like I'm having today. But um, that's what an inhaler's for. I'm fine, believe me. Oh my god, it's right here. Heck yes. But yeah, I'm fine. I just, I'm managing expectations by being kind to myself. So if I don't make it to five days, it'll be okay. And I'm saying that more so to convince myself than for y'all to believe me. I guess if that makes sense. Now Robin is up here, right? Somewhere up here? Nope, nope, nope. Here's your axe, ma'am. Can I come back here and give it to you? Yay, I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. 300 wood, 100 stone, and 4,000 gold. So that is our next big milestone that I need to do. Yay, he is in here. 
You're welcome. I'm never going to destroy your tent, sir. There we go. Gave the daffodil to Linus. Let me clear some of this out. But it would be nice to be able to see a little bit better over here. And we need a lot of wood for the coop, for the community center, for the bridge and the beach. A lot of things. Let me know down below if if there's a way to get rid of these big bushes too. I feel like they just get in the way. And our energy is depleting, but we are doing quite a bit of clearing here. Oh, we're almost to 300 already. Awesome. So after, at some point tomorrow, I don't know if we have to do the Egg Festival all day, but if we are able to, I'm going to hopefully cut down more trees and then maybe we should be at our wood amount that we need. All right. Day 12 of spring year one stats. So we are moving into day 13. We made more gold today, which is nice. Okay, we have extra luck today. So maybe that means that we'll do well in the egg hunt. And it starts at 9 a.m. And we already have some parsnips. Let's see if we get any. Nope, none of them are nice ones. Yeah, I don't know what we need for the egg hunt today. Did I have parsnips in here? What is this? An assortment of wild spring seeds that I should probably plant. Wow, could be some important things I need. Robin here, I know there's a lot of stone scattered around your farm. If you have surplus, uh, wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. I'm fine with just filling it up in my pond, so. Let's go check out the egg festival. I'm so nervous that I need something. I'm going to bring this random piece of bread, parsnip, um, a tulip. I don't know. All right. What are you selling, sir? Strawberry seeds. Let's buy five of them. Sure. Oh, look at you, Shane, being nice appreciating what other people are doing. What are you doing, little Vincent? <laughs> what about you, Jazz? <laughs> Everyone seems to be in pretty good spirits. Oh, hey, Maru, I haven't seen you in a while. Sometimes I'll hide an egg too well and no one finds it. Well, until summer rolls around, then the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. All right. Oh. Do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt yet? Sure, why not? Let's let's start. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. Now, is everyone ready? Oh, there's an egg. Found one. Oh, there's another one. Two. Nope, Jazz, that's mine. It's four eggs. There's one back here. Uh, there's one back here. Uh, one of these stupid bushes. <laughs> This is why I wish we could get rid of those. Okay. Oh, there's one back here. Yes, 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 yes. I am doing so well so far. I see one. I have no idea how many is a good amount, but I'm feeling confident with nine. I almost had ten. And now the winner of this year's egg hunt. <gasps> I won! <gasps> oh my god! I get a straw hat? Wow! First egg hunt, didn't know where they were, just saw them. They really popped out of the grass and the whole day is gone? What? Oh my god. Well, look at me in this hat. <gasps> I look so cute, even with the hair. Okay, let's plant these strawberry seeds. And then I guess I'll go to bed or I have enough energy and it's not that late. So maybe I can cut down some trees. But wow, I won the egg hunt. I'm still shocked by that because I had no idea what I was doing. And let's just go to bed. I don't know if it's 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. I can never remember. Yes, let's go to sleep. All right, 116 gold. Dang, I probably should have went to the egg festival when it was like closer to like two o'clock because then I could have done more stuff. And oh, in the daylight, this hairstyle with this hat so cute. I love it. Partially cloudy with a light breeze. Lots of pollen. Ugh. 
Spirits are neutral. And then the Queen of Sauce. Coleslaw, envisioning bland mounds of limp cabbage. You're not alone, but a great coleslaw can be so much more. Make sure you have juicy, fresh cabbage for this one. Toss with a little vinegar and mayonnaise and you're all set. Ah, that's crisp. And we have green beans. Wow, these were the longest to grow. Wow, is everything else? Oh, I know I didn't just do that. Oh my God, my parsnips. Oh no, brilliant. Let me put this away. I am dangerous with a weapon in my hand. But now we have green beans that we can take to the community center. I have almost enough wood now. I'll probably chop down some more trees, but I am nervous that it's someone's birthday today and it's Sunday. Well, first things first, I need to water all of my plants, not break them up like I just did. Oh, I am definitely farmer material with all of these crops. That seems to be the thing I spend my money on, isn't it? Oh, cutscene. Ooh, it smells. What are they doing? Why is this giving me um, it, the movie, like vibes with the the kids at the bottom of where the sewage runs out, like the barons? <laughs> That's it, please. Pennywise might be in there. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum. Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. Look at that expression. She's like nay nay. Gunther has the key. <laughs> a creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for a big old rusty key. Oh, did they hear me? Oh no, they heard something in the sewer. There's something moving around in there. Of course, I'm going to go check it out. Oh, awesome. That wasn't terrifying whatsoever. A cave carrot. <gasps> Dang it, I don't have enough. Like, I have no idea when she stops selling stuff here, but I have got to sell something to like Pierre or something. How do I sell stuff? How do I sell stuff to you? Oh, there we go. And the leaks. There. Okay, cool. Now we have plenty. Yes, hello. Cave Carrot. Let's go to the community center and then I need to check the bulletin board just to double check to make sure it's no one's birthday today. I don't think it is. Or is it Haley's birthday? Oh boy. See? This is why I need to check it. Look at us doing things. Okay, bulletin board. I think it's Haley's birthday. Or was her birthday yesterday? Wait, the egg festival was yesterday, right? P Lewis, I need you to move. I need you to move, Lewis. I need to check. I didn't mean to accept that. I need to check the bulletin board. Oh my god. Lewis just wants to see me fail. Can you please? Can you please move? Lewis. Oh my god, I need to check whose birthday it is. Yes, the 14th day of spring. Wow, thank goodness I could see it there because, oh my god, I... You're lucky no one runs against you. I should run against you. My first ordinance is gonna be not to be in people's way when they're trying to check the bulletin board because that's freaking rude. <laughs> Here, Haley. Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. This is why I'm not too sure about her. My sister's so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. It's okay to be weird, okay? I'm weird. Oh yeah, I was gonna do some more down here because it is really hard to walk through here. I don't want to get rid of all the grass, but... I am ready to have a coop. I'm ready, ready, ready. Because I really just want to have little ducks. Let's cut down one more tree if it'll let me. Yes, just enough. Wow. Not the fiber, keeping the stone, the coal, obviously, the wood, keeping. We have 312, yes. So I will have to check that out tomorrow. Come on. Please let me plant these. <gasps> I'm so scared I'm going to pass out. Yes. Oh my god. Wow. I'm becoming a pro. 
All right, level three foraging. Not a lot of gold, but we probably have enough now for the beer for Pam. So maybe I will buy that before I forget. Salmon berry season. All across the countryside, bushes are teeming with juicy little berries and they're free for the ta taking. I almost said taxing. Harvesting them is a great way to earn some extra cash. Oh, the cherry blossoms. Nope. Oh, we got one. We have one. That is quality. All the other ones are normal. We have another potato. Oh, it's not even the silver ones we need. It's the gold ones. I know you're just getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will all die out, so plan ahead. Actually, figure that out, Granny. Ooh, look. Are these the berries? <gasps> salmon berries let me go visit Robin and then I will go buy Pam's beer and if I see a beer in my inventory future Lockleth listen up it is for Pam's birthday y'all help me remember somehow I remember the anchovy but I'm not gonna say that I will remember that <laughs> so please help <laughs> but hello Lewis still not over you being in my way from the other day so we need 4,000 gold because I think we have enough stone. We do have enough wood. So our next thing is earning the 4,000 gold. So let's go back to my house, put these in the bin for selling, and then I'll go fishing. And man, my chest is feeling very tight. So I need to, ooh, I need to chill. What is she doing? She's taking pictures of stuff? Okay see what we got going over here. Oh my god. I keep hitting the wrong button. A sunfish. I think I needed that for the community center, so I don't want to sell it. Oh, and that's the first chest I've gotten. Ooh, bait. Ah, <gasps> cool. A perfect one. I think we're going to start getting some night fish potentially now. Oh my gosh, that one was difficult. Alright, that's going to be my last fish for the evening. And for this Let's Play episode, let me head back and sell some of this stuff and I'll be right back. And you know what? I just remembered I was going to buy that beer for Pam and I didn't do that. So I'll have to remember to do that in the next episode. I think we need a bream and a chub and a sunfish for the community center. But how do I just sell one of these? Let me figure that out. It flashes when you need it for the community center. Am I reading that right? So a chub is not needed. A sunfish is. <gasps> How am I just now noticing that? Surely there's a way to split these items. Why? I don't want to sell all of this. I just want to sell one. I have no idea how to do this, friends. Maybe I can make it to the community center and then back? Oh, please let me make it in time. 11.30. Please. Please. Oh, another cutscene. Oh, he's digging through the trash just like I do. Grr, sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy varmin. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks, make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? All of these options are very rude, except for no, it's a shame for food to go to waste. I mean, I dig through the trash all the time. Thanks, Lockleth. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. Exactly. <laughs> oh no. I'm sure Gus is a more understanding. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone to, in Pelican Town to go hungry. Yeah, exactly. He's more understanding. George is just a grump. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. Back at the task at hand. That was a... That was a, a, a very wholesome cutscene, but we have, we have things we need to do. 
Now, let's head home. Let me sell these. Uh, 120. To the bed, to the bed, to the bed, to the bed. Yes, we did it. We did it, y'all. We did it. And we can make sprinklers. So, next episode, I should look into sprinklers. I bet they take a lot of stone, maybe? But we've upped our fishing level. We have earned almost a thousand gold. So, yes, fishing is the way to go. So, I am going to end the video off here. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you are enjoying the Stardew Valley series. Things that I learned today. Hmm... If you go to a festival, make sure you go at the last time you can go because then your whole day is ruined pretty much or is, is you, you've used up your whole day. A reminder for myself, buy a beer for Pam for her birthday. You have enough money and it's worth it. She's already mad at you from the Joja Cola. So I think you could take one for the team and buy her a beer. We need to earn 4,000 gold now for the coop and then we can buy that. Yeah, I'm going to end it here. So thank you so much for watching.